The London Stadium, built to facilitate the 2012 Olympics. No Farron! Far Great Britain! It's gold! And home to West Ham United since 2016. But ever since, football fans from up and down the country have moaned about how unsuitable the ground is to host Premier League football. The soulless location, the lack of atmosphere, and it's a massive shame given West Ham's previous stadium, Upton Park, known for its traditional four stands and fierce atmosphere. So today, we're going to see for ourselves as myself and 3,000 other Villa fans travel down to East London. I'm going to rank the London Stadium's location, the food on offer, the away end, and the atmosphere to see if all the fuss is justified. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is match day. So Sunday morning, it's about 7 a.m. Coach in about half an hour, half seven, down to East London. Early Sunday mornings, love it. Just before I do head out to go and get the coach though, I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone for 60 thousand subscribers that is absolutely mental numbers so thank you everyone who has subscribed recently the support on the channel has been really really good so on to the next milestone and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel there'll be plenty of you watching this right now who haven't subscribed please do so for all the premier league games coming up on the channel the european trips Lille coming up and then after that potentially olympiakos or fenerbahce you don't want to miss that so please do subscribe leave a like on the video if you do go and enjoy it i'm gonna head out in the rain get on this coach up the villa Right then, Lille in the Conference League, do you make of that? It's a tough game, I feel like. I think it's a tough draw. I was just saying earlier, like, I, I think we'd be, we'd be given one of the toughest draws that we could have got, to be fair, especially with like that and then Fenerbahce or Olympiakos in the semis. It's a tough draw, but you still think that we're still favourites for it, though, wouldn't you? So, yeah, it should be a good trip, though. I can't wait. Well, only took about three and a half hours to get down to East London. The driver went the wrong way about four or five times. 45 minute detour, but finally, we are here. Here he is then. How are we, yeah. son? All right. All good, yeah. What do you reckon today then, son? West Ham away, one of the worst away games in the Premier League. Yeah. Big game though, isn't it? Obviously, Tottenham losing yesterday, it's a chance for Villa. Yeah, every chance today. You know, solidify that place in the top four. I think we are surely on today. Yeah, man, I fancy us. 3-1. 3-1 it is. Do you know Let's what? I, actually, I, actually, I actually agree with you for once. 3-1 yeah. Villa, it's going to happen 3 today. 3-1 Villa, I reckon Watkins is going to score today. And let's go Louise. Let's throw Louise in Cheeky, there. man. Now for the, I think it's about 10 or 15 minutes to the stadium. The traffic around there is pretty terrible, so it'll probably be more like 30 or 40 minutes. And then there's a bit of a walk from the coach, uh, where the coach drops you off, and then you've got to go to the away end. It's just a bit of a weird complex. Obviously, I know it's the Olympic Stadium, but as a football ground, it's just not right. You'll see it in a minute. We were saying it on the way, weren't we? What, we I don't think we've won here since we got promoted. We don't tend, yeah. to, tend to win here, do we? No, we were, never, we were never that great at Upton Park, either, when West Ham played there. We're not so. that great at home against West Ham. Either, aren't we, really? It's just West Ham, really, in general. It's just a massive <laughs> bogey team or something. But I don't care what the performance is like today. We're in the business end of the season. You just need results, don't you? So. Get the job done. Oh, Durant and Watkins. Rogers, Louise, Telemans. No Matty Cash. Durant and Watkins. Interesting, that. Two strikers. They're roving them on the bench. Very interesting. Hopefully, he's got a plan. Here we go then, here's the stadium, just got off the coach, the absolute delights here, absolutely beautiful coach bark, piles of crap everywhere, nice. Location wise then, this place gets a 1 out of 10, honestly, like, <laughs> I actually hate coming here, it's an absolute ball ache for driving, to be fair, it's always on a Sunday, so we never tend to get the, like, the train or the tubes or anything like that, so that might be a little bit better, it's just crap in it, I mean it's so modern around here obviously, new buildings for the Olympics, everything like that, it's just a ball ache to get to. Bring back up some park. Honestly, I hate it here, honestly, I hate it. <laughs> Why? I just hate it. It's just everything about it. It's, the ground is not a football stone. They've done their best, but it's not a football stone. Like, honestly, away days at Upton Park were, were class. I like, never went. I never went. I loved Upton Park. I loved it. And they've come here. Like, okay, it's a modern stadium, but it's not equipped. It's just not equipped. Uh, I'm not a fan. I'm so gutted I never went to Upton Park. So gutted. Any Villa fans who campaign for a new stadium or would be like, yeah, I'd have a new stadium. Let's move out of Villa Park. The grass isn't always greener. And this is an example as to why. Weird this is, isn't it? Weird this is. I know it's where they retract the running track and stuff, but it's just bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. You know what this reminds me of? And it's a really, really rogue shout. Do you know the um, the last pre-season game in America, the Washington ground? Yeah, it does actually. It, it is a little bit like that. Like, about the 30 degree heat. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was that hot today. Yeah. But you know what? Once you're in here and you're in the lower tier, it's not actually that bad. I mean, I've never sat in the upper, but I can imagine that's terrible. But lower, the view, it's not bad. It's all right when you get past this bit behind you, though, which is like, 
massive empty space, which I fairly assume is used for like... It's the running track, isn't it? Concerts, so I don't know, it looks weird. It's just, yeah, it's fine if you look that way, but if you turn around, it looks absolutely abysmal, so... Imagine they did this to Villa Park. Honestly, I'd cry, honestly. <laughs> I'd just sit outside, I'd be absolutely heartbroken if we did anything like this to Villa Park. It or, will never happen. Or ended up with a stadium like this, I just... And you know, it's no offence to West Ham, I'm not digging out West Ham West Ham, Ham fans here. hate it as well. No, I'm not digging out West Ham here at all, I just, I just hate it here, I just hate it. This is what Si was talking about, by the way. You turn around, there's a massive gap between the lower and the upper tier. Absolutely bizarre. So, so weird. So then, prediction. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to go with what Jamie says every single week. 3-1. I fancy us. West Ham have got a few dangerous players, I think. With Moreno and Rogers starting on that left-hand side, Kudos might get a little bit of joy. Ward Prowse on the bench. I like that, to be fair, because he scares me a little bit as well. So that's something to be wary of today, 100%. I think Duran, lovely to see him get a goal the other night. Hopefully he can do the same again today. Watkins obviously starting as well after his injury. That is absolutely massive. It's a very interesting team. I fancy it. Hopefully we get the job done today. 3-1. Come on, Evan. It's just dead, isn't it? No, John McGinn, Supremi Martinez is the skipper. I like it. We're playing it again because the atmosphere is so dead. They've got to play it multiple times. Come on. Shit support, mate! Shit support, mate! Shit support! Soldier soul for this shit soul! How dead is this? Proper, proper dead. No, come on. We've got to wake up down our left hand side, by the way. Moreno and Rogers look a little bit nervous, which is what we said before the game. Guess which side that came down? Rogers and Moreno is really poor down our left hand side. Really, really poor. It's been coming. It is. It has been coming. Again, it's the ball in the box, and Antonio stoops and heads it in. It's poor that is. We're not very happy, bunnies, are we? I think I talked about it before the game. Moreno and Rogers down that side as well. The midfield, we're losing out there, it's all slow, you're losing the energy of John McGinn. Got to make changes at half time and win. I just don't think it's worked, has it? I, I really don't think it's worked. I was, I was a little bit worried before the game, thinking we've just got Tillemans and Luis in midfield, and we're just not. The problem is the midfielders are not providing the options to the defenders to move the ball, and we're just stuck. We keep losing the ball, we keep giving yeah. it away. Rogers is struggling down the left hand side with my right. Yeah, right. Talk, talk about the goal, it obviously comes from that. Rogers slow to close down, ball swung in, poor defending, but Antonio stoops down yeah. real low to head the ball in. It's restrained. West Ham have done nothing apart from that. They're not great, are they're they? Not, they're not, and like, I just think, like, we played well the first like 15 minutes yeah. or so. We were moving the ball well. We looked the you know the brighter side, but we lost our way as the half went on. And I'm just, you know, John Duran's not been in the game at all, has he? And you know, our threat looks like it's going to come for Leon Bailey. Kind yeah, of thing. he's uh, the brightest, he's the brightest. He is, but. I'd be surprised if the manager doesn't make a change at half-time. I mean, just... it, the interesting thing is, he always bigs up Tim. And then in a game like this, yeah. you think he'd be ideal. If you're going to play Rodgers, you pay Dean as well. You've got to be well, changed at half-time here. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if you, bring, if you have like a defence midfielder like a Tim, you know, well, you know, I, know he's, I know he's young, but you've got to give him a go at some point. It's the, thing the is, natural, it, natural position. Yeah, and it helps Louise or Tielemans yeah. move forward as well. And, you know, we all know Tielemans' his best role has been behind the striker. Yeah. And yet, today, he's having to play this defence midfield role. Like, I just don't think it's worked, and I, you know, I, I get it. It's been a bit, a bit, a bit brave making changes today and doing a different system, but I'm not convinced it's worked. Long Lane Duran have gone off. Cash and Diaby have come on. I like that. I like that. Something had to change, didn't it? Come on, then, fellow boys. <laughs> A goal, again, just after half-time. How many times does that happen? How many times does that happen this season? Just after half-time, and guess what? A set piece? Absolutely mental, that is. So poor. Possible handball. Antonio handball it? No idea. Well, there's your let-off. There's your let-off. Switch on now. Just have a dig, will ya? Shoot! Oh! I'll tell you, it's better. 
It is better, it is better. It's a final ball, man. Moreno and Rogers go off. Dean and Zaniolo. Don't mind, it has to be done. Go on, Cashy. What? Why do we always make the wrong decision right at the end? So frustrating. Like, go on, shoot! Why do we take so long to shoot? Why does it take us so long? Diabo, goal. Here we go. Yes. Finish it. Yeah! Sign the contract, Zaniolo! Come on! Was that Tillemans over the top to Diaby? So, so good! Come on! Ten minutes! Come on! A really well worked goal and what a finish, Niccolo! Oh, Niccolo Zaniolo! Oh, Zaniolo, what are you doing, son? He scores! He scores and he gets booked. Oh, Niccolo Zaniolo! <laughs> Seven? Seven minutes. Come on, Villa. You've got to be kidding me. No idea what's happened there. Villa players are fuming. Absolutely fuming. Again, though, you guessed it. Set piece. <laughs> Giving away silly fouls over and over again, all game. And it's a set piece. Are you shocked? Nope. I don't really know what's going on. Again, he's got his finger to his ear. <laughs> no VAR, we don't know. Referee's just like walking about. Nobody knows. VAR, possible handball. Villa players were not happy. Went sprinting to the ref. Probably about three minutes in. In limbo, everyone's just stood about. Even the West Ham fans are booing here. This is, this is, a, this is a joke. This is one of the longest decisions I've ever seen. Pushing about five minutes now. Free kick was on 94. We're now on nearly on the hundredth minute. Nearly on the hundredth minute. Here we go. Yes. Oh. After all that, and then he gets sent to the monitor. What? Why is it taking six minutes to go to the monitor? Oh, seven minutes later. Seven minutes later. There's still about five minutes to go here. What a mental game. Could have gone either way, to be fair. It's one of them where you run and take the point. The two disallowed goals, who knows? I haven't seen them. Potentially a little bit lucky, I don't know. Could have gone either way in the end. We had chances. Just one of them games, I think. Just keep ticking along, keep the points coming. But not a bad point, that. So you've seen the rankings for the atmosphere and the location. The away end is okay, but that's only where we were sat. A couple of my mates were up the top tier and it was pretty terrible. So for that, we'll go pretty neutral. Five out of ten. I think that's probably been a little bit kind as well. And then the coach driver was giving us the run around around East London. So I didn't have time to try any of the food or drink. But I was seeing popcorn. I was seeing hot dogs. It's the only Premier League stadium that I've seen popcorn. So speaks for itself. But anyway, forget that. It's definitely a point gain for me today. It's another point in the right direction. It's another point away from Tottenham. Sky Sports are doing their best to save Villa are falling away. Are they distracted by the Conference League? We're still ticking along nicely. Would Tottenham, what, what were Tottenham distracted by yesterday when they got battered by Fulham? Absolute nonsense. You saw our thoughts at half time. The first half really wasn't great. We changed it in the second half. Diaby, when he comes on, does really, really well. I think he's earned himself a start against Wolves. I thought he was really, really good today. Zaniolo coming on as well is really nice to see him get a goal. I'm not sure why he was shushing the away end. Not sure what he was thinking there. Um, but it's really, it's a really good goal, actually. It's nice to see him get a goal as well and an important one that rescued us a point. A few important decisions throughout the game. They're humble. I mean, the, 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 the one at the end of the game as well. What do you want to give a foul for? The handball. Suchek is also all over Konza as well, grabbing his shirt, whatever. I, I do not understand why that took so long. It's absolutely mental. David Moyes was absolutely fuming at the end of the game as well. But forget that. A point in the right direction. I'm happy today. It's one of them points where you look back on and think, yeah, 
that that's a really good point as well. And it's the international break, and it probably comes at a decent time for Villa. Just rest, reset. I know a few players are going away, obviously, um, but for the ones that aren't, rest, reset, go again in a couple of weeks. Just give us that time to pause and reflect because it's been it's been busy in April when when we come back. That's very very busy as well. So everybody, enjoy your international breaks. Like I keep saying, thank you so much for the support on the channel. It is massively appreciated. If you haven't already, please do smash a like on the video, subscribe as well if you haven't already. And the next time I shall see you will be a Wolves at Villa Park in a couple of weeks. Enjoy your international breaks and up the Villa.